Hello everybody. I think most of you have seen the viral video with millions of views uh, in which a caterpillar is being poked repeatedly which is making squeaking noises. Well, I'm here to explain some of the science behind it. Well, science um, between quotation marks, uh, but anyway, this is um, a caterpillar of the squeaking silk moth and you probably guessed why it, uh, how it got its name. It's called the squeaking silk moth because their caterpillars can make a squeaking sound if touched. The purpose of this is to scare or startle predators uh, which are about to attack it. For example, birds or other predators may be scared of the sudden noise. Uh, caterpillars make this sound by, uh, by pushing air through their spiracula. You're probably wondering what spiracula are. Well, maybe I can show them. I don't know if they're visible. They're not visible with every species. Um, basically, oh yeah, they are here on the side. Maybe if I can try and get a close-up. It's very hard to see. There are these small slits on its side. These, these dots. They're not the blue dots, but they are slightly above that. Spiracula are actually pores in its body that it uses to breathe. As you may know, insects, they don't really have uh, lungs like we do, but they have a set of tubes in their body uh, which, through which air freely flows. And by compressing its body, the caterpillar can push air through the spiracula, which can make a sort of whistling noise, which is a defense mechanism. Maybe you can see it contract whenever it's disturbed. Well, it's not making the sound anymore, I think. At some point, if you keep poking it too much, it will stop making the sound. For a while, at least, until it forgets it, uh, it was being, why the reason it was being stressed in the first place. Now, I'm breeding these moths in captivity. It's my hobby, so... I got these from Japan. It's an Asian species of silk moth, and really, they're really pretty cute, of course. But the adult moths, in my opinion, are even better. But um, this is the quick rundown of the squeaking silk moth. And they're pretty easy to breed on hawthorn or cherry and many other plants. So I ju was just hoping to explain this, really. Uh, that was all. Thanks for watching.